So this video is still on linear algebra and we are on the chapter of vectors in Rn. Uh, so now we have a very important concept. If I have a, cons a vector u and a vector v uh, both in Rn in some space, when can I say that u equals v? When can I say that two vectors are the same? Well, vector u will be... So vector u is living in R, Rn, living, uh, belongs to Rn. Vector v belongs to Rn, so they will have n components, right? Both, of course. And when is u equal to v? Well, u will be equal to v, the vectors u and v are equal, if and only if um, the corresponding components are equal. Okay, so u and v, uh, so u and v, they are equal if and only if a1 equals b1, a2, sorry, equals a2 equals b2, so each component is equal to the, the corresponding one. Okay, now, if, uh, if we know that vector u is equal to vector v, and we know that vector u is x3 and vector v is 2x plus y, um, we have to find x and y in order to, to show that the two vectors are equal. So x has to be equal to 2 and 3 has to be equal to x plus y, right? So x equals 2 and um, 3 equals x plus y, but since x is 2, we replace x by 2, right? And we get, and then we subtract to both sides, and we get x equals 2 and y equals 1. So let us check if that is true. U, so x will be 2, 3, and vector v will be 2, and it will be 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1. Okay, so 2, 3, 2, 3. Yes, the vectors are equal for these values, for x equals 2 and y equals 1. So now we see the definition of zero vector in Rn. One thing is the zero as a number, right? And the other thing is zero as a vector. So this is the symbol for defined, okay? The notation for defined. So the zero vector is the vector where all its components are zero. Of course, it will have n components, n zeros here according to the, the space where the vector belongs. So please be very careful. There is a difference between number zero and vector zero. Okay, sometimes we are asked one, sometimes we are asked for the other. So now we define the negative vector. So we have a vector u and the question is what is the negative of the vector? Okay, so vector u will have these components, right, to a n, depends where it lives. Okay, so this one will be in r n and the negative vector it will, it's quite easy, it's defined, okay, I'm, I'm using again this notation, it's defined as minus 1, oh, let me, minus 1, minus a2, etc. That's, 
so this will be the negative vector so if we have a vector let us say 1 2 or minus 1 2 let us say minus 1 2 what is the negative vector well negative vector will be minus minus 1 2 right so it will be 1 minus 2 okay so the negative vector will be 1 minus 2 where 1 where u is this vector here it's more or less obvious that for any vector u that lives that belongs to our rn the negative of a negative vector equals the the vector itself so vector u will be a1 a2 an and this is the components right these components will be numbers uh, from the reals right okay and we know from the numbers point of view that minus minus a1 equals a1 right so what is minus minus u so this will be minus right so at the end of the day this will be minus minus a1 minus a n and that will be a1 a2 a n okay so u is equal to minus minus u okay next video we will uh, introduce the concept of adding vectors and scalar multiplication